Hi, my name is Lisa, and today I'm just going to be demonstrating measuring the head using the International 1020 system. We're going to use a bald mannequin, um, and first what we're going to do is locate the four anatomical landmarks. Uh, the first one is going to be the nasen, which is going to be right here at the bridge of the nose, uh, where the nose, the bridge of the nose meets the forehead. So I'm just going to make that mark right here for that nasen. And second one is going to be the inion. There is a bone in the back of the head, the occipital bone, and just below that occipital bone is usually a little indentation. And that indentation I'm going to mark right about here. It's a dummy, so it's not going to be as protruding as a real head would be, but we're going to do the best we can. So we have a nasen and an inion, and now we're going to mark uh, the two preauricular points. The preauricular points are just anterior to the tragus, the little processor of the point here by the in front of the ear. So here is the right preauricular, and here is the left preauricular. So we have the four. We have nasen, inion, right, and left preauricular point. So our first measurement is going to be measuring from the nasen back to the inion. We're just going to set our tape measure. I'm going to use the centimeters and put the zero right at the nasen. Measure back to the inion. And I am getting 33. So I'll show you that. 33. So we're going to take 10% of 33 and 10% of 33 is 3.3. So we're going to measure up from the nasen to our first point, which is going to be 3.3. And that's going to be our point for FPZ. Okay. So from here to here is 3.3, which is 10% 10, 10 of that measurement. Then we're going to take Slide the tape up. I'm going to measure up 20%. So 20% of 33 is 6.6. .6. So we're just going to go six point six. And there's that measurement. So from here to there, six point six slide back. So we have Inion, FPZ, and this is our FZ, our first 20%. Our second 20%, another 6.6, .6 is our first point for CZ. And another 20%, which is another 6.6, .6, is our point for PZ. And then one more for OZ, 6.6 .6 for OZ. And we got 10, oh, 10 which is should be about 3.3 .3 there. So we have a 10%, 20, 20, 20, 20, and 10. So now we're going to measure from preauricular to preauricular. And we're going to take the tape measure and measure through CZ. So you're going to run the tape measure across the head through the first CZ mark. Put it on the first preauricular to the second preauricular. And I'm getting 35. Okay. So 10% of 35 is 3.5. So you're going to go up. 3.5 from the left preauricular, and that's your first mark for T3. And you're going to go up 20%. So we got 10% here, which is 3.5. 20% of 35 is 3.5 plus 3.5, which is 7. So 7 is going to be our mark for C3. Then another 7 which is going to allow us 
now two points. So you're gonna make, or we made a mark this way, now we're gonna make a mark this way. So CZ, it now has an X there. So now we're gonna to go to the right side and another 20% to get to C4 is seven and that's our C4. And then another 20% is another seven. And then this should be 3.5. There we go. So again, to recap, 10% of the right preauricular to the left preauricular. 10% up is our T4. 20% up is our C4. Another 20% gives us our second mark for CZ. Another 20% gives us our mark for C4, and then another 20 C, T, uh, T3, and then our left preauricular. Okay, so just to check our measurements, because we are lifting our tape measure, and sometimes we can shift a little bit, we're gonna check our measurement. We're gonna check a measurement from the Inion to FPZ. Which I got about 3.3, 3.4, 3.3. And then we're going to check our measurement from FPZ to FZ. And I got I got about 6.5, 6.6. And another from CZ. Or P's, or FPZ, FZ to CZ, sorry, and that's 6.6. .6. And then from CZ to PZ, 6.6. .6. And 6.6 .6 from PZ to OZ. And Oh, we got about 3.5 3 so it's a little bit off on the on the from the OZ to the Inion and then now we're gonna check our preauricular points so from our preauricular to T3 we got 3.5 and from our T3 to C3, we have exactly seven. And from our CZ to C3, we have seven. And from our CZ to C4, we have seven. And from our C4, the T4, we have seven. And then from T4 to our pre-auricular, we have about 3.3. .3. So, sometimes your measurement might be off a little tiny bit just because the, if you're lifting up the tape measure, it can, it can shift it a little bit. But the more accurate you are in measuring and keeping that tape measure flush, the better. And sometimes people's heads are a little different, a little, not everybody is symmetrical too. So um, you may run into people with that have scars, um, you know, surgical scars and things like that. So, okay, so that's step one and step two. And uh, thank you very much.